Hey guys, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing five facts about me. I just wanted to help you guys get to know me a little bit better and I thought this would be a great way. I did post these on my Instagram story a couple of days ago and I just thought it would be a really cute video idea. Might as well put it into a video that lasts longer than 24 hours. Fact one, if you guys didn't already know this, I do attend the University of Central Florida. The school is in Orlando. It's such a cool city. It's like super big though. Like. The Orlando that I think of, the Orlando that you guys think of with Universal and everything, it's like 30 minutes from here or like even more with traffic. I was actually born in Jacksonville, Florida and I moved to Atlanta, Georgia when I was three years old and the only reason I came back to Florida was because I was kind of forced to. I did have Florida prepaid which is basically your parents sign up for it when you're super little and they put in money to this account over like 18 years. And I'm pretty sure like Florida gives you money too. I don't know how exactly that works. So my college isn't fully paid off, but a good chunk of it is deducted from like my tuition, which is super nice. I'm currently a junior in my spring semester and I'm this close to being a senior in college. Like I remember my first videos as a freshman because that's when I really started to fall in love with YouTube and like vlogging. And it's just super weird to me that I'm gonna be like out of college, out into the real world in like a year and a half. I just can't even like imagine, but I mean, it's happening soon. So pray for your girl. <laughs> I am a radio television generalist major and I am minoring in sociology. I did have it as entrepreneurship at first, but basically what had happened was all the minor classes had prerequisites and those prerequisites had prerequisites. Like I was like, what? It's never ending. So I just like had to change it obviously because I'm not about to like stay here for another semester just for a minor. So I changed it to sociology and it's pretty interesting. I'm taking my first few classes of it. I'm taking family trends right now and sociology of murder. So fact two, growing up I had very severe eczema and a lot of other skin problems. I can't even remember all the skin problems I had and I also probably don't wanna say it on camera cause it was like gross and just not a very fun time in my life. So don't really wanna relive it, but I did have very bad eczema and obviously in that point of my life, it was like, you know, elementary school going up into middle school. People just didn't filter their comments towards me. So obviously their comments hurt and I was very insecure when I was, um, at that age and then we found out I was lactose intolerant so I stopped drinking straight up milk I stopped eating yogurt and stuff like that and obviously to have food with dairy in it because I just couldn't stay away and I still can't stay away but the eczema started going away very slowly <laughs> and to this day it kind of still comes back and that's why I go to sleep with my face drenched in ointment like I'm not even joking I have like a full night routine putting on my ointment, putting on my brow serum that makes them grow. I mean, let me know if you guys want to see a night routine because I just think it's so funny like that I like fall asleep in this like ointment mask. <laughs> Fact three, not to be dramatic, but capital to sorority, capital to UCF has been probably the best thing that has happened to me. It has given me people that literally support everything I do and that support motivates me to do even cooler things and obviously this organization has given me so many opportunities that like I couldn't even like think of having if I wasn't in it. When you have so many sisters you can build connections and then those connections can have connections that you can connect with. Do you feel me? Like it's just an endless networking opportunity. So my sophomore year I got the position of vice president of public relations and I decided to take on a second term because I love to do it. It's like what I love like taking pictures, doing social media, being the videographer, like everything like that. Keeping relations with other organizations and keeping relations with alum. Of course it's fun to be a member but it's so so much more rewarding when you actually have a position and you're giving back to the organization. So this summer I got an award at convention and I vlogged the whole thing so I will definitely link it down below because I literally cried like I was embarrassed but you know I was so in shock that I, that was like my first reaction. I will always remember that because there's no better feeling than being recognized for your hard work. Act number four is that I've always been super duper tech savvy ever since I was so young. I don't really know what my dad's like first job in Atlanta was. I think he worked with like IBM or tech systems, but I remember like he got me my first like IBM laptop and I'm pretty sure I was like in first grade when I got this. 
and I just like surfed the web like I did everything on my computer like first grade and this wasn't even like the time that kids really had laptops like technology at that age because you know my generation is way different than what's happening now i would literally go on those sites that you can make free websites and put little widgets and just have fun like that like creating something has always been something that i loved to do and then i got really into photography at a young age also i remember switching from disposable cameras to like a little mini digital camera i literally thought i was like the coolest person ever i always brought it to my girl scout trips and we'd just like take like random stupid selfies and honestly i don't know where those pictures are and it makes me so mad like i'm never going to delete a picture ever again in my life because one time i was so embarrassed of all my middle school pictures being on facebook and i deleted all the albums and now i don't know where they are and i literally can't find them on anything so that sucks i really recommend never deleting your pictures because you are going to regret it anyways i'm just thankful that this hobby of mine being so into cameras being so into computers and just loving to create content never faded fact number five i just just wanted to share a little bit about my family and about my dog and my boyfriend. I am literally such a mama's girl. Like, I love my mom. I literally am attached to her whenever I see her. Like, I will never, like, let her go. I'm always, like, sitting on her lap or, like, you know, hugging her. Um, and she's, like, the most selfless person ever. And she always knows when to give me, like, great little pep talks like I don't even know where it comes from but like she just like is the all-knowing person every time I just like have a question I'll just ask her she like just knows the answer I hope I get that like instinct to like know everything when I become a mom because I'm worried about myself so my dad is very extra and this is definitely where I get my extraness if that's a word he grew up in India he was born in India my mom um she was born in Chicago but then once her father died and like when she was young, she went to boarding school in India. So they both were raised in India and I feel like that's where they got their street smartness. My dad knows how to get his way and that's what I admire so much about him. And he just like knows everything about business. He just knows his way around everything. Honestly, I've always thought like, why don't you just like go teach like college classes because you probably teach them so much more than like they read in books and I have an older sister she's like about three years apart from me I think like two years and eight months if we're being like real technical so growing up we were not super close but then she always likes to say when she got her car we became close because I wanted her to drive me everywhere which could be possibly true <laughs> that definitely pointed our relationship in the right direction that's all I'm saying. That was the time where I felt like I could trust her and I started talking to her about boys and stuff like that. And obviously we're still close. She does live back in Atlanta. She went to FSU for college and graduated about like two, two years ago. I think two years ago. She's obviously always been someone I looked up to because she's my older sister and she just goes through everything first so she's always given me advice and stuff like that. Then I have my dog. Her real name is Sophie if anyone's confused but I always call her Nucci. Like I don't know why but I think when my sister left I got my dog and my sister's name is Nisha so I kind of like bounced off that and just started calling her Nucci. And it's just really weird, but I love, love my dog. She's kind of ugly, kind of cute at the same time. And last but not least, I have my boyfriend Ryan that I've been dating since sophomore year of high school. So it's been five years. We just had our five year anniversary. And right next to my mom, he is so selfless. He's always willing to help. He's always supporting me. I feel like I always get worked up about petty stuff and then he always grounds me, which is really something I need in my life. So that is it. That's my five facts about me. I did go a little bit in depth, but I kind of wanted to do that so you guys could get to know me a little bit better. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!